Alrighty, since my finger slipped and accidentally shut that video off, uh, I'm going to start from scratch here. Uh, going to need to take off your intake here. You do not need to take off your throttle body. You can if you like to. Um, but just be aware that if you, uh, one thing I have to mention, folks, your power steering pulley here is plastic. Sounds like metal, but it's like, it's plastic. All right? So don't ever pry on them. What the hell is that? That was weird. Sounded like somebody hit the fucking garage here with a damn snowball or something. Anywho. Huh? Yeah, you have to take your tension off. That's a 15 millimeter. Now, uh, it's not hard to come off, so just keep in mind that if it's not hard to come off, you probably don't want to crank it on then, because being that this is aluminum, you'll strip that bitch right out, and that's something you're probably not going to want. So, make sure... Uh, being that these are usually new cast, or if they're not new cast, they're refurbished. They usually do the um, threads if they're bad. Uh, so just make sure that your bolt fits in there, because when I had them clean the threads out of an old uh, another part I've gotten from, they actually threaded it too big, and the holes did not. Actually, it was the power steering pump. The power steering pump. Uh, this part here, th there was something wrong with it, and it. It just wouldn't allow the bolt to stay in there right. Like, th this was too big or something. So, I wound up getting this uh, replaced again. And sure as shit, it's going bad again. Uh, actually, it was bad from day one. It was going... It sounded like a supercharger going off. So, uh, But my steering is fine, so I never changed this. I said, screw it. Uh, so, I'm going to go and get this again. I got to get. I got another pulley. I just cannot stand putting these pulleys on, so I don't know if I want to tackle it yet. Um, but on top of that, uh, the tensioner has to come out. That's a 15 millimeter bolt. You have to take your radiator hose off, guys. It's up here. Um, you got that little squeeze clamp here. Just squeeze it with a set of pliers, uh, like actually just like this. And you'll just squeeze it. This way you can move it. Once you move it, you'll be able to take it off your hose. Remember, guys, you got to have a catch can or uh, not a catch can. Sorry. Uh, you're bucket or something underneath because you're going to lose quite a bit of antifreeze actually pretty much all your antifreeze uh so you got to keep that in mind you're going to lose a couple gallons so make sure you have something underneath to catch it uh dodge uh and jeep here like to use this uh orange crap organic stuff um so it's a little bit more money it's like 20 dollars a gallon so you're probably going to need what it looks to me as being about two three gallons max uh so that's like quite a bit of money just in fucking antifreeze uh so anyway um we're going to get on this here this i'm going to start working on this now that i've removed the tensioner off of there uh the throttle body i'm going to leave on there um and it looks like you can get to all the bolts actually fairly easy so this shouldn't be too hard of a task here this looks like my temperature sensor uh so i don't think i need to take that off it looks like the seam to the is right there Right on the other side of my temperature sensor. So that's good. All right, let's get on this. All righty, correction. This one is a 16 millimeter. Uh, now what this bracket does, if I'm not mistaken, I think my my intake uh, pushed into here through a grommet on the uh, plastic intake piece that comes across. So uh, that's what this piece here is. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal, but... You do gotta take it off in order to get to the the bolt here, unless you got a, these little wrenches here. These wrenches here are absolutely phenomenal. They have saved my ass on my differential, uh, everything. My transfer case, uh, probably couldn't have done it without these. These swivel, <coughs> not only do they swivel, but they're little ratchets, you know? So one way is tighten. If this is uh, loosen, you flip it around, and that makes it tighten flip it around loosen and then it's a regular box wrench so technically i can get this in there and go to town but i'm lazier and i like my sockets which is 13 millimeter 
And that's what uh, cracks these bad boys loose. So uh, let's get to town. All right, on this stud, this one's a 15 millimeter, so it's a 16 millimeter on top. Might as well just put all these back on these studs. This is a 16 millimeter, and that one's a 15. It needed a little crack and loose. Uh, I don't suggest banging on it because it is aluminum. Uh, I do suggest maybe possibly just using a little bit more torque than normal. I don't like impact guns on aluminum. I don't know why. I'm just not a fan of that at all. So I'm going to need something to put all these little bolts in. Other than my fenders. But it looks like that's what this is going to be. Now what I want to do is remember how this goes in. So. Let me do this. Grab the old new water pump here, right? I know it's a far way to walk, but hold on one sec. All right, the only reason why I took this bolt out is so I could actually access and get to this with my ration without whacking my knuckles off of that big stud. That one doesn't go inside of that, so I'm gonna put that there. And that goes to my tensioner, so. This is the tensioner bolt. But I don't wanna lose it. This one goes right up here where that bracket is right there so I'm gonna put that one together like so keep that bracket there but now it's time to start cracking all these little bolts off and get this bad boy empty alrighty folks this is why I was telling you lay out your water pump when you lay out your water pump you're gonna notice your bolts are different sizes and it looks like it's gonna go short big short big short big short big short big all the way around so with that being said, I'm going to put this one right there. I'm gonna stick this one right there. And I'm gonna do that all the way around as I take them off. Now I started with this because as you're taking it off, this is where you're starting from anyway. You're, uh, it's best to start from here. Just work your way around or even down this way. But just make sure as wherever you start, you put the bolt in there as you're doing it because this way you're not going to mess it up because if you try to put this little one in this big one it, it ain't going to work right this big one is never going to fit where this little one goes so it'll bottom out before it has a chance to screw all the way in so now that i got the second one i'm going to work on this third one here which i just got cracked loose they're not in there very tight only the first two or three turns of the ratchet are actually stiff after that, you, I mean, I have to take this one off by hand because as you can tell, the uh, looks like something that goes with the heater core maybe or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But it goes into the water pump and it's probably going to recirculate to the heater core or something. I have no idea what it is, like I said. But this one I'm going to have to take out by hand and that's going to be a short, big short. So this is going to be a short bolt, thank God. It ain't going to be that big one. Boy, is that a little panda butt to get out. But, uh, ouch. Alrighty. I'm still gonna drop this damn bolt. Get out, stick it in the next hole. Alrighty. So on and so forth. And you just keep doing that all the way around. Alrighty guys, if you ain't gonna be taking off your power steering pulley here, which mine is broke, uh, but they're plastic, you know, so you can't pry on them, you can't put no weight on them. 
you want to get this bolt out and you ain't got uh, the ability to use a ratchet or even one of these uh, but you can use a ratchet if you use a small 13 millimeter on a swivel and that allows you to get down uh, inside there and around your pulley which now allows me to break it free and it's still not broken free enough for me to turn my hand one-handed this is so weird see how it goes right on now that's all you gotta do just Let's get that bolt out. All right, I removed the uh, two 13 millimeter bolts, pulled off the little housing there, which now looks like uh, this on here. That's the housing. That's what your uh, upper radiator hose went to. Uh, bolted on here. I'm gonna pull out the thermostat, replace the thermostat. My gasket looks pretty bad, actually. Um, if you look at it, it's got a dip in there. Over here, it's messed up a little bit. And uh, yeah, right here. So, time to change that anyway. And uh, now I'm just taking off this little 10 millimeter bolt here with one of these little beautiful Harbor Freight tools that has worked so far and has not broken. I give them that. For a $20 set, man, it has saved me a bunch. My differential, I could not have taken my differential out or my uh, transfer case without this. All right, so this little bad boy's gonna go in there. So, I'm gonna stick you up here. There you go. Alrighty, and that's pretty much that.